An Edmonton man is looking for answers tonight after he says he was stranded in Kelowna. He says his girlfriend wasn't allowed to board their flight home after her driver's license was stolen. Joe Scarpelli has more on their situation and what you need to know. Eric Grouse says he was enjoying a summer vacation in BC with his girlfriend until the day before they were supposed to fly back home. She left her wallet in the car and we come back, the little window was broken. In her wallet was her driver's license necessary to get on the flight home. They had a friend text photos of her birth certificate, health card and Métis status card. Grouse says he contacted Flair's customer service to check if that would be good enough to board. His very last word was great. You know what I mean? So at then I'm like, perfect. The employee at the gate had a different response. She just said no. They never gave us no options, no suggestions, what we could do to work around it. He says he spoke to another airport worker who suggested they file a police report for the missing wallet and that might get them on the plane. We go file the police report. We go back into Flair Air. We say we got a police report. She just says no. Flair tells us gate agents are trained on the acceptable forms of identification and do not have leeway to override the regulations. Little comfort for Grouse, who says he still doesn't know what he should have done differently. So we asked an expert who says it's a tricky situation to be in. Taking a photograph of a baptism certificate or a birth certificate I'm afraid that's just a little bit too short of what may be required. Have someone come to where you are or maybe FedEx one of those documents to you. Gross and his girlfriend ended up driving back to Edmonton. He says he'll be requesting a refund from Flair, hoping this time he'll get a yes. Joel Scarpelli, CTV News, Edmonton.